Hello and welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining us. So, today we're going to be testing some viral TikTok food recipes, food hacks, whatever you want to call them. I'm very excited and also very hungry. So, let's just jump in and get started with the first one. So, the first one is the TikTok wrap. I'm sure you have all seen the TikTok rap hack, trend, whatever. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have probably tried it too. So, basically you get a wrap and you cut one side into the middle and then you have like four sections where you put your ingredients and then you like fold it and then fry it on either side I think. Um, and it's just kind of like a quesadilla um just a bit of a easier way to eat your wrap and it obviously toasts the wrap as well so that's what we're going to be doing first i've already prepped my ingredients so i've just cooked some chicken goujons we've got some grated cheese and then i just did a little like red onion and um tomato salsa because it wouldn't be me doing the food shop if I didn't forget something. And I wanted to have lettuce. Forgot the lettuce. So. Mm. So we don't have any lettuce. But it'll be fine. It's currently half past two. I'm absolutely ravenous. So let's just get started. Okay, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So we're gonna get our knife and basically cut. Like that, so you get just a little. Okay, so I don't think we put anything on here. So it's just here, 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 I think. I don't know. So if we just put some cheese here. And then our chicken goujons, I just cut them up because I thought that might be easier and I obviously have already pre-cooked them. Is it really annoying if I'm talking and you can't see my face? I'm really sorry about that. And then just a little salsa. Okay, so this is how it's looking. So basically what I'm gonna do is fold that over and then like that. So we fold this, oh, bit of cheese, and then like this. That's a bit of a pile, and then like that okay and now we just need to toast it on either side the boy is a bit of chicken sit sit good boys so i'm just gonna put some fry light on Okay, I've just put the wrap on. The pan isn't that hot yet, but it will start to cook in a minute. Probably should use this. Look at that, getting all toasty and delicious. It smells really good. You can see that the cheese hasn't started to melt there just yet, but it's definitely getting there. Okay, did I stop paying attention and let it burn a little bit? Maybe, but it's gonna be fine. 
Right, let's cut it and we'll give it a try. Well, it smells absolutely incredible. Just dolloped a bit of mayo on. We'll sit down and I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, apologies for the bad angle, but here. I'll take a bite without the mayo first and then we'll see if it needs mayo. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Wow. 10 out of 10. Mmm. Oh my god. Dip of mayo. Oh my god. That is so good. Wow. Oh my god. That was incredible. That was really good. George came in and had a bite and he said it was really good. So I would honestly give that 10 out of 10 for lunch. That was so nice. Right. Let's get into the next food hack. Okay, so, sorry, lighting. Um, next hack is the TikTok tomato and feta pasta. If you have not seen this pasta, where have you been? Also, I forgot to say in the previous one, if you wanna try out any of these recipes, Literally just go onto TikTok. So for the first one, I think I just typed in on TikTok like TikTok wrap hack and then all the videos come up. And then for this one, I literally just typed in like tomato and feta pasta and then it just comes up. And then for this one, um, because I wanted to know like timings for how long to cook it and stuff, I literally Googled like tomato and feta pasta and just found a recipe, recipe that gave me the timings. So that's what I'm gonna follow. So I'm gonna stick you back up on here. Does anyone else just drink tonic water like by itself? I love tonic water. Okay, so I have preheated the oven to 180. And Basically, all you need to do is just put loads of tomatoes. You just put loads of tomatoes in a dish like this. And then... And then she puts loads of salt on. I'm also gonna add red onion to mine because I had to chop up some red onion for the wrap and this was just what's left over. I'm also gonna add pepper because I like pepper on everything. One thing that you'll really start to notice with my like cooking videos I wing everything. Like if I just have an ingredient lying around in the fridge that needs using up, I'll just stick it in and it always just turns out fine. Oh, okay, she did add pepper. Then some dried herbs. So I've just got some mixed herbs. That looks like chilli powder or paprika, so I'm just gonna see what we've got in the cupboard. Okay, so I've got some chilli powder. <laughs> then I've got my block of feta. I'm only using one block of feta because this is just going to feed me and George, so we don't need two. And a lot of them do only use one, that particular TikTok just used two. 
and then she adds some more oil over the feta also funny story this is actually a wine bottle this is a rosé that i always get it from tesco i'm sure they do it in other places but the bottle just looks really cool and then a girl actually messaged me on instagram saying because i posted that i really like the wine and she was like i use the bottle for my olive oil so that's what i do it all Okay, that went really quick, but I think she added garlic and then more herbs onto the feta, so I'm gonna do that now. So I've got some garlic granules here, and then I've also got some parsley, which I'm gonna use. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the oven for half an hour. I'll just show you what it looks like before it goes into the oven i think the red onion is going to be a really nice addition okay so whilst that is in the oven i'm gonna cook the pasta they literally used a different type of pasta in all of the different videos that i've watched so it really doesn't matter which pasta you use i picked up rigatoni romeo is feeling very sad today so let's all just send Romeo some positive vibes because he is just not a happy boy today, are you, darling? No. You're so cute, though, aren't you? Hey? Oh, it's Can you You had some chicken goujons, didn't you? Were they yummy? A tired boy. If you don't like dogs, this is probably not the YouTube channel for you because, yes, my dogs will be featured in every single video because I just love them so much. Look at that face. <laughs> just melt them my heart. You're so cute aren't you i don't know why he's so sad today he's not in pain or anything he's just a sad boy he's probably just sick of being in lockdown with me and george we just pick him up and cuddle him all the time don't we oh my god can you hear that sizzle we're steaming up wow okay so I've literally just taken that out of the oven pasta is draining so now what we do is oh, wow oh my god The um, red onion has like caramelised. Oh my god, I don't know why the red onion is not in the proper recipe because wow. <gasps> Look how creamy. I'm just like squashing. Oh my god, my mouth is literally watering. I'm just squashing the tomatoes down. Oh my god, this looks incredible. Wow, wow, wow. I think all tomatoes are squashed. Wow. I already know. This is going to be insane. It smells delicious. You can just smell all of the herbs. Oh, right. Just going to rest that there. Let's give this. Oh, you're steaming up. Give this a shake. I'm doing this all one-handed. I didn't know how much pasta to do. Probably done too much, but we'll also have this for lunch tomorrow if we don't eat it all. Okay, 
I'm just going to give this a good mix and then I'll be back. Okay, so pasta is all mixed in. Wow. This honestly looks beautiful. Only four o'clock. Me and George obviously aren't going to eat our dinner at four o'clock. So I will just reheat it a bit later, which will be fine to do. I'll let it cool a little bit and then we can try it. I also just had an idea to add chicken into it. And because we're not eating it now, I could always cook some chicken. Like cut up some chicken and throw that in there for a bit later. We'll give it a try. And then we'll see. Right. Pasta is here. Let's give it a whirl. Oh my god. That is insane. Wow. Wow. Okay, I have one more piece and then I need to not. Oh shit. Oh my god. That is insane. So thoughts that is so nice one cube of feta was definitely enough for how much that it is boys shush no so this is like a big dish and i use like three quarters of the thing of pasta that would probably feed like three four people so yeah one that you can really taste the feta in every bite boys um the chili powder is a really look at these two the chili powder is a really really nice addition it's not like spicy it's just got a nice like warmth to it really really good wow i think i might actually add chicken to it later um i'll just dice up some chicken breast fry it off and mix it in i think that would be nice um but wow definitely give that a go and that you saw how easy that was so easy um and obviously it's vegetarian until i add the chicken in so if you are a vegetarian then this is a good option for you i believe feta is vegetarian friendly please correct me if i'm wrong the next hack is just a little one and it is a biscoff mug cake so this is all over my tiktok i don't know about any of you guys i hope we've got enough left oh these mug cakes i I can't say I've really made that many of them, but what we're going to do is put a big tablespoon of this spread in the mug. A bit more. Just looks like that. Again, just type in on TikTok, Biscoff mug cake. Okay, so I've got some milk, my mug. I'm just going to... So here is how it's looking. And then I think like a tablespoon of flour. Right, so I've got my mug. And I'm just doing a tablespoon. Maybe a little bit more. Right. I need to stir this until it looks like cake batter currently looks like this so i might be here a while do you know what i'm gonna put it in this big mug that i have i think that's gonna be easier <laughs> smells nice I'm not gonna lie, if this works, I will be shocked. Okay, I think mine does look like, so this is what it looks like on the TikTok. 
This is what mine looks like. Mine looks a little bit more runny, but that's fine. And then we just need to add a bit of baking powder. Literally just a little, little sprinkle. You'll be able to see that. It looks quite lumpy, not gonna lie. It looks like cake batter. Like cake batter isn't thick, is it? So I'm gonna say that this is the right consistency. It says to microwave for one minute 20. Here is the Biscoff cake mixture. So one, one minute 20. We'll see you in a minute, hun. Let's have another piece of this pasta. Wow. Moment of truth. I see steam coming out. Huh. It looks a bit watery. That's not done. Right, let's give it 30 more seconds. And then she puts like a little glaze of biscuit. Biscoff on top, and I have a tiny bit left, so I'll do that if it works. Okay, getting there. Do another 30. 30 seconds is up. Right, well, it's definitely sinking. This is just going to have to do because I, I'm over at this point. So, this is the mug cake it doesn't look great and then just done a dollop on top and i guess it's going to kind of melt i'm okay this does actually look quite nice does it i think i'm lying yeah this does not look nice. Granted, I didn't put as much effort into this one as the other recipes, but try. Look at that. Actually, I take back everything I said. Ah, hot. That is actually good and it's not dry at all. I've burnt my tongue. I would probably rate this like a 7 out of 10 because... Would I go to the supermarket to buy Biscoff spread to make this? No. But if I had Biscoff spread lying around and I fancied a little sweet treat, would I make this? Yes. And there was only four ingredients. So this concludes today's video. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like me to test any more TikTok food hacks or any other hacks in general, then please let me know in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next